Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today, we will be exploring the DKS Smart Gate Controller and how to set up the app settings to work seamlessly with your gate. Ensuring your gate operates efficiently and securely. Let's get started by opening the Smart Gate app on your Android phone. Now that the app is open, select your Dorking Smart Gate device to access its interface. Next, go ahead and open the settings by tapping on the bottom left corner of the screen. To ensure that these settings are correctly configured for your gate. On the settings page, you'll find a series of sliders and timers that play a crucial role in determining how your phone will respond when the gate opens or closes. These settings also affect the notifications you receive and the available buttons within the app. Let's take a closer look at these settings. The first slider is typically turned off by default, but for most users, it's essential to turn it on. This slider should match the timer to close feature setting on your gate, which is commonly used to automatically close the gate. Enabling this setting will also add a hold a button to your main gate screen for convenient access. Moving on, the next three sliders are related to your notifications, and they are usually turned on by default. The first two sliders determine the type of notifications you want to receive for gate close and open events. The third slider controls whether you'll receive banner notifications on your phone. It's generally a good idea to leave these settings enabled so that you're promptly notified when your gate is opened or closed. The timeout alarm setting is not used with our system. However, the run timer setting is crucial as it determines how long it takes your gate to open and close. By default, this is set to 10 seconds, but you'll need to adjust it based on your gate's length. Typically, you should set it to your gate's length plus an additional two to three seconds. If you receive a message indicating that your gate hasn't opened or closed within a timely manner, it means that your gate hasn't reached its limit in this time frame. In such cases, you'll need to either adjust the timer or check for obstructions in the gate's path. The final setting on this page is the password. This setting is only relevant if you intend to connect your system to Google Assistant. If you're not using Google Assistant integration, you can safely ignore this setting. Congratulations! You have now successfully configured your DKS Smart Gate controller settings to work seamlessly and notify you of events happening at your gate. Be sure to stay tuned for more DKS Tech Tip videos in the future.